Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Resonance Arcade. It's uh, Friday night, and we're doing a stream of Metal Gear. It is Friday night. I was looking at Lou then, because Lou, Lou always likes to point out exactly what I say wrong on the intro. I, all I was thinking was Chris likes to do something because of the fact that I'm thinking about doing something. So I called you bluff there, Chris. I wasn't going to do anything. I oh, thought right, the Metal Gear Solid were on Monday. Yes, they are, and um, I'm sorry, it's not Friday, it is Monday. <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't matter Sam anymore. Can have my job, he, he can point out what's wrong. <laughs> it just doesn't matter anymore. Anyway, so we're on uh, part six, I think, and we're playing through, um, we've just, uh, we've just gotten a shell two, haven't we? Yeah, just done the Harrier fight and stuff like that. And well, yeah. what are we expecting this episode, then? Um, oh, it's going to go underwater and get Emma and fight Vamp and have all that. Oh Joy. yes, I was underwater, wasn't I? And I, I had to invert my controls every single time I got in and out of the water because it was because yeah, it doesn't have separate ones. Uh, you've got to go through it. This, this is the really big underwater bit where you've got to go and get Emma, then bring her all the way back. Oh, is this an escort mission? Yeah, it's oh, a horrible yes. one as well. Oh no, mate, it's an underwater it. escort mission. Why? Like the, the zenith of fucking <laughs> shitness. Right, Why I did just... we mention uh, Scott missions in our game in Annoyances? Because that's a really big one. I'm sure we did. Yeah. Surely someone mentioned did that. We? I think I Sam think might have mentioned this or something. I, I remember talking about this a few times. Oh, you going the wrong way, mate. I knew that. <laughs> yeah, Scott missions can go fucking die in a pit <clears> of <throat> poo. Do you know what? I've recently been playing through. Um, you know, Ico or Eco, however you pronounce Ico. that. Oh, I haven't played that. It's pretty good, but do you know what it is, right? It really reminds me of Prince of Persia, the first Prince of Persia, as in Sands of Time, but not as good. Like it's really like it. Like it's a it's a big thing where you're sort of climbing around with with another person, and there's lots of sort of platforming and stuff, and the combat's not really that important. It's just there. But Prince of Persia did that, but did it really, really well. Like really refined it. Whereas in Ico, it's quite it's quite irritating in places. Like you have to. The, the girl, you have to go and hold her hand all the time or she won't go with you anywhere. You have to like drag her around and she can't do any of the climbing that you can do so you've got to climb around and open stuff for her. And it's it was quite cool in that sense but I think you're supposed to feel attached to it and I just didn't. I was like, you're getting on my nerves. It's a well-regarded game, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the one before Shadow Colossus. It's the same team, yeah. isn't it? Team yeah, it's, it's an interesting game. Um, it's worth having a go at but be prepared to not... It's not as good as Shadow of the Colossus in my opinion, not by a long way. Right. Um, the Colossus is very unique, whereas I could get out before Prince of Persia, but it feels like the sands of time to me, but not just nowhere near as refined or good. I might get, you know, anybody that's a big Ico fan might slate me for that, but I'll tell you, play those two games side by side and see which one's better. Anyway. Right. Where am I going, just, Sam? Because I'm just wandering around here. I'm just down, down here. Yeah, the lift. <laughs> you weren't able to play Metal Gear games without Sam. Not now. Do you have not, on, like, speed dial. It's like you've come to you've come to rely on me way too much. I've, I, like, well, I've a little chat about Ico. Half the time you're telling me all the minute detail of everything, and I tell you off for it, and then it's like, right, when I actually need the help, you sat there going, <laughs> "Well, oh, no, you're doing what, that all the time, aren't you?" One extreme. Do you, want to, do you want to get in the lift then? So, see, go on. <laughs> right, where am I? I'm on one, aren't I? Hell. <laughs> Do you want us to read out the number for you, Chris? If you weren't like, if you weren't spamming the fucking up and down button straight away, maybe you'd have seen where you were. I didn't do that on purpose. It actually did it. Shut up. Right. Oh. It's a nice dial. Yeah. Good. We have. I mean, you've already been this way last episode. You're just going uh. further than you did last time. You've got to go right through this section, out the other side. Um, you change your controls over, Chris. I'll yeah. see. I'll, I'll manage without it. Until I start whinging about it. Oh, well, going to be Bioshock. Yeah, I think, I mean, um, one thing I will say, I probably mentioned this before, but like, the water water effects were pretty cool for their time. I mean, there's too many bubbles, I think, realistically, but it oh, still looks pretty really cool. Does, yeah. Did it look the same before it uh, got the HD remake? Uh, it was the same amount of shit, yeah. this is. I mean, I don't think they've changed anything graphically, they've just um, smoothed it off. This looks basically like I remember. Yeah, there's loads of bubbles and stuff. There's Probably nice, many, nice effects of the water on the lens and stuff, isn't there? Yeah, it's yeah, nice, yeah. That. Raiden, are you reading me? This is Arakan. What's your situation? Wet and miserable. <laughs> this place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Yep. Listen, 
There's something I have to tell you about. <laughs> Listen, don't care. Don't worry about it. There's something you have to do. I'll tell you about EE. What's that? She can't physically do anything. So good luck with that. <laughs> that should be, yeah, she actually is six years old. You can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. Oh, this is the whole weird like fucking Otacon story about him and his stepmom as well, isn't it? Coming up, she... Cue the sad music. Oh no, she's oh, not dead. It's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not, yeah, it's later on. But I, I w I'm going to wish that I could kill her by the end of this. But I didn't realize yeah. at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I, I was... So Emma survived the what he was doing was worse than what you think it was. I'll tell you that right now. So you worse than that. And left your family. Well, it depends how you look at it. Masturbating to the... Uh, uh, Masturbating with a nuke. I betrayed her. <laughs> Master Bacon you can't swim because of the traumatic yeah. experience. I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. Right, if you haven't seen her since that day, how the fuck do you know that she's like can't swim? Because you can't assess someone's like, you know, psychological makeup when you haven't seen him since that day. Maybe she got over it. If she's right. the last ten years, like Swimming. Yeah, she might have been an Olympic fucking swimmer for all we know. Maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? <laughs> Secret agent stroke therapist. Sorry, kid. Yeah. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> we got a psychiatrist couching his inventory. Well, this yeah, is yeah. First. Look, I'll see what I can do. I suggest that you drum you the map of the building into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. <laughs> I'm counting on you, Ryden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's yeah, anything man. you need to ask me, call yeah, me man. on the Kodak. I'll do that. Got a chance. Oh, well, there's a positive and negative one. I didn't know that. Yeah. Right, so, where am um, I going? I reckon you're going uh, to the south. You see, there's like a little corridor going south. So you sort of find your way there. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> through corridors and such. Can't go through doors, can you? Oh, god damn uh, inversion. It's only where it's open, so you have to probably navigate via the map, see where you've got open corridors. They have to like go up to the top and then, yeah, that sort of that way. <laughs> Not that way, though. <laughs> he's swimming like um. He swims like a dolphin, isn't he? Well, he's swimming like Snake does in the first one. When yeah. he, when he's entering. Swim like that. When he's I don't think entering. anyone swims like that underwater with like, both their legs at the same time. Not uh, unless you've got it's yeah. dolphin stroke. Yeah, they do. Um, Butterfly stroke, mate. Flip. Not unless you've got a flippers on. I've seen people do it without flippers. Oh, going okay. really fast as well, yeah. Um, you know Greg at the land? Oh my god. Yeah. He was a really good swimmer, like a championship swimmer. Almost uh, swam for England, and he swims underwater like that. It's really impressive to watch. Ah, mines! I oh, know, I saw it. Oh one. god. How the fuck did they get in there? That is ridiculous. I never thought about that the first time I played this, but like, why would there be mines in the big shell? Did I come did, this did, way? Did Fat Man put them there? Do you think it's a contingency uh, plan if it gets uh, submerged that it releases mines? Yes, that would that would make sense for a dis oil disposal facility. Did that do nothing at you all? Can't right? You can't open it that door, like but you have, to keep, you have to keep like pressing the button. Oh my god. You might as well go back up for air and do it again. Yeah, yeah. You have to add a whole triangle or tap it, like one of the two. I was tapping I it then tap and it. it didn't work. I think you just keep tapping it until it opens. Maybe you hold it. Didn't register it last time, now it's working. <laughs> I'm gonna blame you for that. I did actually blame hear you tapping. Mom. Yeah. Probably tapping the wrong button though, wasn't I? <laughs> oh, check it out! Oh, is it this way? Smacking the controller into your face. <gasps> oh my god, it's that guy no one cares about! <laughs> it's that guy they from always, The Shining! The world famous! Do that. <laughs> the world famous Wait. bomb disposal man! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right. That's so, drop there, isn't it? Underwater bodies coming out of rooms. I yeah, suppose it kind of makes sense, though, because if the room's filling up with water, you're going to be near the exit. It's or near what you think the, is the exit. It's basically the Jaws scare, isn't it? It is, yeah. Which is oh, one of the scariest down. bits of that movie, definitely. Yeah. Um. You have to go. Or if you go left, you've got to sort of go up. There's like a weird route through here. So where you went is, is correct. Like if you go, oh god. If you look at the little mini, if you look at the mini map, it's sort of. Oh my god, the controls! Yeah. 
I'm pressing up to go down all the time. That's a problem. Right, you down. You sort of head south into that room and then up, like, up. There you go, you've got it. Got it. This is what I'm talking about with the micromanagement, Sam. Up, up, down, left. Uh, you, you're two seconds behind me. Sorry, I can't, I can't respond to you. Fair enough. Uh, don't help, don't help him anymore, Sam. At all, ever. Next, next time he's crying because he doesn't know which door to walk through. Tell him to fuck the off. the floor he's on. <laughs> What's that you're drinking, Lou? It is um, Carlin Zest. Uh. Other, other citrusy beers are available. He's doing it again. Uh. I think that one's locked, bud. Uh, go not. to your... Hang on. Oh, there you go, there's some stairs, look. I know, two seconds behind and all that, but there's a staircase. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can't help himself, though, can he? Right, that's not it there, that's the staircase. Oh, it's you he can't help! There it is, the staircase is where you want to go! I know! It's you not, said I'm not fully in control of the situation. I, I keep saying this. Well... <laughs> Give me so a mouse and keyboard out. any day. It is! PC oh. Master Race. It's, it's like time. watching infinite monkeys type out the... Oh. This bit, Lou. Get ready. Get your wallet ready. <laughs> now this fight, if you do try to go the tranquilizer route, is mega difficult because he keeps throwing knives at you. Like, you oh. can shoot the knives out of the air with your AK. As well, like, so... Again, depends if you want to not do the kill route. Bear in mind that even when you kill Vamp, you don't kill him. So does it make a difference? I'm not so sure it does. Ah! I hate that. I hate that little dance he does. Is he dancing on water there? He's a prick. Yeah. Uh, it's a massive TV on static, isn't it? Ah. Technically, it's it's just vectors he's dancing on. Yeah. Te texture map polygons. Technically, he's not dancing on anything. He doesn't exist. Well, anyways, I wonder if uh, any flamenco dancers can dodge bullets the way he just did. So is he an actual vampire? He's a dick. Um, well, it depends on your definition of vampire. He did drink blood at one I point. Mean, He's undead. I, it, the, how the, how vamp is the way he is really is explained in Metal Gear Solid 4, and I know we've said that about a few things, but it really is the case, especially with this game, like... So much shit is set up in this game doesn't pay off until Metal Gear Solid 4 that it's... Yes and no at the same time. In this game, for all intents and purposes, yes he is a real vampire, but then there's a twist to it in 4. It's the best answer I can give, really, without just telling you exactly what the crack is with him. Not that Eddie is, but he's that bothered anyway, to be fair. It just seems strange how all of a sudden like a, a supernatural element's been... Introduced. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like a banish. Hello. Yeah. yeah. What was it really supernatural? Was that just kind of like supernatural? Really psychic. Like, sorry. It was really psychic. Like he yeah, really was not psychic. more kind of like the scientific route than the supernatural route. How do you mean? What's the scientific route for being psychic? <laughs> well, well scientists can read psychic. people's minds at the minute. So maybe it's just kind of like an extension of that in some sort of field. I know. I know what Steve's saying. Is it like? So he, he was using some sort of technology to do it, you mean? Exactly, yeah. He wasn't. Oh, he was he genetically just, he modified just, or something. Yeah. He just could. I don't know about that, but he just could do it. Right. I know what Steve's kind of getting at. It seems to be that this game tends to introduce elements that seem fantastical, but turned out to be explained by some genetic engineering or technology. That's, that does apply to Vamp. Yeah, I thought it might do. I just want to... Random vampire. I just want to take this uh, this lull, this uh, this this time to say, um, to acknowledge Lou's uh, philan philanthropical beard that he's got, go oh his moustache that he's got going on at the moment. Yeah, you know sorry. what I mean? I, I know I look like a kid. I would um, I would call it more altruistic because altruistic sort of has that sort of self sacrificing like air to it. <laughs> and that's that's what Lou's doing with his face right now. <laughs> sacrificing <laughs> us is. Please do not send hate letters to our home, our headquarters address. Send them directly to Lou. His yep. address is nine nine nine. If you just send them over here, I'll get them. Just down there somewhere. Just Lou Middlesbrough. <laughs>
Yeah, Lou Middlesbrough. It'll get to you. I bet it does. It'll get there. It'll get Lou, there. that dodgy one with the moustache. As long as you put a stamp on it, it'll be right, isn't it? TS something. Whatever. I don't even know what postcodes exist in Middlesbrough. It's a shame you're not going to be I assume it. I assume it's still TS. It's TS. It goes up to TS twenties, I think. My, I'm in TS twenty. My dad's house is TS twenty. Exactly. Yeah. Stockton's got loads of them. Right. So they say that this water is not really water. It's it's non buoyant water. So if you fall in, there's no way of coming back up. So that's basically saying don't fall in the water in this boss fight or it's game over. Non buoyant water. It's to do with like how it's treated. It's 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 to do with the cleaning up the oil thing. It's just. Bollocks. Just don't stand nice. on it, basically. This music again. This is the boss music. You you better get to love it. <laughs> oh, you can swim through it, though. Oh, of course you can. It's all sparkly. Ah, well, can I give you a quick hint here, Chris, as well? Uh, shoot out those lights that are dotted around the room, because I'm sure and... there's some. I'm sure there's something to do with them, like. Oh, he does this weird thing where he throws a knife at your shadow, and it like holds you in place. Ah! So if you take out the lights, you can't do that. Yeah, it's weird. I just remembered that. That didn't take anything out. Did you not take them out? Aha. Yeah. Can if you're in. Shit your Ooh, face. Fall in the water. So yeah, close to the oh. edge. Thanks for that bit of gem advice there. Yeah. Do you want us to read out some numbers for you as well? <laughs> You're all going to get stabbed in your sleep. That one doesn't want to go out. <laughs> maybe maybe you can't. Maybe the one up has there to stay. There we go. Oh, no, you got it. You just have to do the, the right angle. Right, um, let's trank the bastard. Ooh. Ooh. So he just starts doing this shit. Um, you can sort of dodge his attacks. If you time it right like that, yeah, but it's hard. To, but you can you can just punch him, and it will it's sort of tranquilize me. It will go down, but it's about timing it right. Obviously, he's flipping around like a. Oh, he's got a two me as well. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's throwing knives. Where is he? Jesus Christ! Oh, you're not gonna enjoy this fight, are you? Yeah, in your fucking balls. <laughs> right in them. Yeah, you have to do that another thousand times, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Now then, I believe if you shoot him in the head or in that, you know where he's got that sort of that scar on his stomach where he got a shot earlier. I yeah. believe that if you shoot him either of those places, it takes off way more. That's his crit spot. Um, so I'd say the stomach one's easy to get because it's a slightly bigger target, I think, than the head. Look at him with these orange glowies. I've got a feeling when he's like that, you yeah. pretty much hit him. Just figure that out. He's got his orange glow of, of protection on. It's very, very computer gamey, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa! He's trying to shank you there. I hate him. He's a bit of a knife man. This is going to be a long boss fight. Can you not just shoot rockets at him or something? <laughs> so I was going to say, can, I suggest can. that. You can actually, yeah, that's why you notice that Chris picked up grenade rounds early. You can fire, I think if you fire grenades into the water, it makes him jump out, like. Ah! So when he's in the water, if you throw grenades in there, it'll make him come out of the water. Or oh, shoot grenade, you've got a grenade launcher, haven't you? And a Stinger missile launcher. Oh, good shot. For some reason, the, the music's really loud this week, and I can hardly hear you guys and him. Can't you know turn it down, either. The game sounds for us are a lot quieter than they have been, but yeah. Hmm. The recording is sounded okay. Yeah. Yeah, is it distracting you? Do you need to turn it down? Or? I, I would like to, but fuck it. I'm not going to whinge about it. Come on. Whoa. Ah! Ouch. So yeah, I don't really uh, sort of pick up oh. your <laughs> Jesus wet. Shit, how do I get up? Triangle. I'm gonna Triangle. press X again then. Yeah. <laughs> you can um, flip over the sides, you know when he's running around after you, he'll sort of he'll 
come at you and try and do a, a down attack, like to knock you off. But if, as he's doing that, if you press triangle and jump over, you'll hit him, and then you can get a couple of punches in as well. That's the sort of like leap technique uh, because you have to get the timing right. Oh, bastard! But it says you try to shoot him all the time as well. I didn't hear any of that. I'm sorry. All right. Just this. This, this is the, the way of hanging over the side. You know when he's coming to get you with his knife. You sort of hang over the side when he comes to get you, and then as he's got to come and get you, you jump back over and hit him. Oh, got him. You don't even need first person Shit. aiming. Shit! Oh, oh, fuck's sake. See how easy it is on that to die. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that was a deliberate design choice because they knew people would flip right into the water. At least I did it with style. Yeah. Why is it the opportunity to turn the volume down a bit, Chris? I can't. I can only do it at that um, those stations. All it's right. a lot of shit. Oh really? Yeah. Do you have volume control on your headphones? Oh, yeah, yeah but it's it. it's the the general volume yeah. level. Don't matter. It's it's not too bad. I can still hear things. It's just not perfect. Look yeah, at Sam's him. Sam's giving you some really good advice though. Flamenco dancing silly sausage. <laughs> you need to get the light, Chris. Oh shit, I haven't done it this time, have I? Yeah, each time you start the fight, the lights are obviously respawned. Oh, we got him there. Yeah, so like, doing that when he's in the water will damage him a bit. I think it reduces his O2 gauge as well, so it makes him come back up. There you can, go. He, can he not drown then? He never will. Like he won't he'll just let come himself. Up. Yeah, yeah he will. He will always come up for air. Oh, like you can. Only, you can only. Whoa, my word! Oh, Christ. oh, Ooh. Jesus! Half That's health it. gone. There's a slap on the half left. Yeah, it, when he gets you with those like melee knife attacks, it's bad, bad times. Like bad times. <laughs> Camera makes it really, really <laughs> easy to play, to do this. Yeah. Kojima! Bastard. You'll get your third person camera in the next game, you just gotta finish this one first. Oh, there he is. I think he's coming back up. Is he coming back up? Yeah. yeah. He goes, yeah. Every time he, yeah. Fight, he hits you. Yeah. That's extremely douchey, that, isn't it? I think the multi, oh. multi knife throw. Oh, for fuck's sake, Chris! Oh, I spotted a recurring theme here. <laughs> Fifty quid. <laughs> yeah, it's official. Quid. You know you're going to get over a hundred before this series is done. I hope these children appreciate what I'm doing for them. They won't care. <laughs> they just want to play games. I wonder what games they can get for. One one Xbox game. Yeah, I guess. They could definitely get the Metal Gear Solid HD collection on download. <clears throat> Do you think we get Chris to visit some hospitals and, and play play in front of um poorly children? We'll just make them worse. What a bit harsh! I was just thinking that if you played like this, like, <laughs> <laughs> it, might, it, might, it might give them like a renewed vigor to get out of the hospital. So they can get better at games than me. <laughs> no, just so they can get out of the hospital where you're playing. Oh, oh bell end! Oh. <laughs> you haven't damaged him yet. Yeah, I can say I don't think. Just, uh, the, just the cartwheel thing will work. From what I remember, you have to. It's, 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 yeah, no, no. Shanked. Well, come on, you have to what? Like I said, you do the thing where you go to the, the railing there, see the one at the north end. Right. Um, and then you can, as he's coming towards you, you can flip over it. He'll come up to you, and as he gets close to you, you flip back over it, and it like hits him. Obviously, it's when he's, yeah. So. You're gonna come up to you. 
Uh, it's like you have to get the timing of it exactly right, basically. But it, Obviously. Yeah. There you go, you got him a couple of times, didn't you? He got you as well, but... He's a dick. It, in principle, it works. I think he won that battle. There's another ration pack down there, though, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think there's plenty of health. I don't think he's at risk from the boss. He's more at risk from the water. Yeah, he's got five rations in his inventory, so it's full rations. I don't know if he t if he takes one, it'll uh, over it'll be too much. If you know what I mean, so he might as well wait a bit until he loses a bit more health. Are oh, those invincibility animations just seriously, yeah. please? Flamenco dance dodge it. Flamenco bullet dodging. That's what it is. There nice, you know. nice, Thanks, lots of damage See, there. Yeah, I was gonna say though, you but he's kind of. You do shitloads of damage when you just punch the fuck out of him. <laughs> like, try to shoot with the tranquilizer is <laughs> really difficult. You're bleeding! <laughs> Ain't got time to bleed. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. Just back in the water. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. See, sometimes he's in the water for ages, sometimes he goes in and comes straight back out again. It's like it's one of the long ones. Maybe a lob a grenade in there or something? He's just come he's out. Come out. Back. He's come back out, so don't bother. Yes. Go over and punch him in his face. I'm looking like a chuckle brother. To me, to you, to me, to you. <laughs> He does, I he read looks somewhere like... that the Chuckle Brothers are releasing a Christmas single with uh, hey, there you go. Punch, 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 punch. Yeah, they... yeah, that just nice. sounds terrible. Yeah, they just released a grime single. A grime single. <laughs> <laughs> like, I hear it's yeah. what all the kids like at the moment. Dizzy Rascal feet Chuckle Brothers. Yeah, it is or real versus... thing. It's not. It's not Dizzy Rascal. It's someone else. But I think they're Chichi probably Strider. Do... That's it. Yeah. yeah. Is it done in a Sal was going on about Tinchy Stride last night, and then she then she got it mixed up with some other rapper. I've never They're heard not of rappers it. anyway, are they? Um, not real rappers. I think they are. Not Why are only real rappers from America? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, if you call them a rap, calling them rappers. Oh, are you a bitch. He's, he's got he's got Raj now, isn't he? Jesus Christ! Now, oh, this is going to be easy, isn't it? I'll just punch him. Just punch him. I can't I just big. punch him. You're gonna have to do something. You can't run away from him now. Obviously. Oh! <laughs> I believe the um, the railing tactic still works, mate. It's just you have to. The timing's that much more difficult. Obviously, there are only certain railings that you can hang off, like the ones that are open, basically. Where's he getting all our bikes from? No, oh, he's vampire. Bump. He's pulling teeth out in the grown back. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's what I would do if I was a vampire. Flamenco dancer. Dude. <laughs> it's like Antonio Banderas is a vampire or something. <laughs> He's a mariachi, wasn't he? In the mariachi in Desperado. Uh, Desperado yeah. to to totally different. I love that movie. It is class, yeah. Once for a time in Mexico, not so much. No. Oh, mate, you smacked him right into the drink there. <laughs> <laughs> That just looked really funny. Just when you kicked him, he flew over to the side and <laughs> screamed into the water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, do you know what, Vamp? You should be saying, yeah, you're actually losing this fight. So, which, you is, know. which is embarrassing against me. <laughs> <laughs> Especially considering he's immortal. You'll have to do a 12 step program after this, Chris. We've got Bosses Anonymous. <laughs> Isn't that a scene from Wreck It Ralph? Uh, I think it is. I think it's the opening scene. I still haven't seen that film yet. I want to. It's a good. It's a good one. It's kind of forgettable. It's like I've watched it and I don't remember much of it. Yeah, it's like just okay, but. But it's loads it. of reference. I don't know how the hell I got the rights to all of the characters in it. Oh, 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 nice. nice. I'm gonna Where's get hit by one of these knives, Anna. I know. Oh no, there he is. This is cool. A couple of more, couple of more of these combos, and he's done for. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> that was lovely. That's very good. I'm not actually aiming at him though. I'm just hammering it when, as soon as I. Whatever works, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, doing the chin up thing makes your grip go down lo loads faster. I know. But Living got... dangerously. Yeah, alright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's done that. Nice. Little bastard. That was a pretty good go at that boss, I reckon. A couple of deaths, but they were due to. The Ineptitude. What are doing? To be honest. Ah! <laughs> Is, uh, well, it suddenly turned into very viscous liquid so that you can s slowly descend into it. <laughs> like that. It's become treacle. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking thumbs up. Maybe it's just got, like, really light. Like There was, there was just, unnecessary you echo shot, then. You shot all the density out of him. <laughs> yeah, how did it echo when he was underwater? It's not water, though, is it? Is it wasn't it nano machines or something? <laughs> Looks like some lemonade. Check procedure for arsenal gear. Find Emma on the double. You've got Find to get Emma to on the, the double that the president gave you. Yep. He said on the double. Let's see how long it takes him to shut the fuck up and let me get on the double. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shell one. Oh, he's telling you stuff you already know again. Oh, someone else. Yeah, on the double. Else. Right. Do what he Did just said. All that? I didn't make it on time. Arsenal's going active. Yeah, I heard. The hostage rescue's gonna have to wait. I'm going after Emma. We'll secure the computer room. Room. I can't install the virus program without Emma. Can't your partner do it? I would if I could, but the security... There's a little bit of, uh, no what's his name? I Zach Brannigan time. in there, That's adding the extra syllables on the end. Room. So that uh, might interest you guys. Uh, David here is uh, currently doing a Ask Me Anything on Reddit. I don't have the right to is he? Right now. I was I watched an interview with him the other day. I listened to one while it was on live. It was it's quite funny, quite a witty guy. Are you uh, are you keeping an eye on that, Steve? Because you could probably uh, read some out. I bet there's some um, funny shit on there. Like. Yeah, get them read out. One person asking, "What is your single favorite line from the entire Metal Gear Solid series?" What did he say? Diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's that from then, Sam? What was this quote again? Sorry. Diarrhea. Um, Diarrhea. first one. Um, yeah, I think it was the first one. <laughs> Can't believe that. I thought that was a joke. We just didn't know it was real. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one. Are you currently in a box? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> we probably answered yes to that one. Yes. I just feel more comfortable in here. <laughs> no! <gasps> Fucking oh. hell, do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> There's a really weird bit at the beginning of Metal Gear Solid 4 where you're basically watching TV and you can flip through the channels at the intro of the game. And one of the channels is like David Hayter being interviewed on, a, on like a fake talk show yeah. about playing Solid Snake, I think. It's really weird. It's like, Fuck it's all meant sake. to be futuristic and it's fucking crazy. The production values on the TV channels are absolutely amazing. <laughs> Do you just like anyway. For that mine, Chris. Oh, that I, mine. This is tricky because there's no map in there. You just gotta f sort of fumble your way through. Body armor. That's awesome. <laughs> You're gonna be needing that. You need that when you're fighting all the Metal Gear rays. Uh, body armors are gonna stop in drowning. No, but it's still a really good thing to have picked up. And it's not like it's on your way to where you're going as well, so it's possible he could have missed that, so good so, job that he did. So negative, Lou. Which means he's now lost. Praise me for the little things. I'm not lost, actually. I know exactly where I'm going. He is going the right way. <laughs> In your face. <laughs> oh <-hoo. laughs> I got too excited then about that. Emma! I hope this Emma's worth waiting for. She's not. She's not. She One really of isn't. Four episodes. She's not. Uh, maybe maybe not... we've built her up to be more annoyed than she actually is, but she's just a bit... She's just another kind of wanky character from Metal Gear Solid 2, unfortunately. <laughs> There's a lot of them to go around. Does each game have a different um, different uh, sort of drug? Um, that is a I, believe it, it? I believe it does in Metal Gear Solid 3. I'm not sure if it's Pentazamin again or something else. Metal Gear Solid 3 is set in the 60s, so I'm not sure if it's a different. It'll be Valiant, one. won't it? <laughs> um, I'm looking for that thing I just picked up. The book. Body armor. Or oh, the book. Where the hell is it? 
Pentasamine's what you picked up. No, I just picked up a book as well. Books, a book's class as a weapon, mate, because you you carry it oh, in your shit, you, yeah. set it with, you set it with square so that the guards get an out of it. Well done. We should use one of them one time in, the, in one of these games. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to see where it was so I could use it in a bit. Do you get the uh, empty magazines in this game as well? I think you do. Like you can uh, throw empty mag if you if you shoot a gun and the clip goes empty, you'll keep the empty magazine in your inventory, and you can throw empty magazines to distract guards in certain areas. All the leap stealth skills that you can do. Oh, here she is. Get out of there! Do you remember that scene from uh, uh, oh, Bird God. After Reading Talk where he right. opens? She just weed. She just weed herself. <laughs> just like Hal did. It's another callback. It's Jennifer Hale again. And I saw Jennifer Hale in the opening bit. I was like, who the hell does she play in this? You're lying. Where are you taking me this time? What are you talking Jesus, about? that sounds really different I'm for her. Mind you, she is a good voice actress, so she can probably put on very different voices. Dude, that's a good, <laughs> yeah, good property to have as a voice actress, isn't it? Yeah, but you get you get a lot of voice actors that, that really just, just do the same thing, but people like them for it. Okay, Usually um, people in um, 80s and 90s anime. The yeah, same five to... people who do all of it, every single anime, and they're all Steve... just doing the same voice. Steve, Steve Blum's done a lot, hasn't he? <laughs> Can you Sorry? Hear me now? We've had enough. We've had enough of the cutscene. Let's go into the codec. Again. How old is she meant to be? Because she looks That's like a kid. She's supposed to be like... I think she's meant to be only maybe like 19 or 20. She is supposed to be a wunderkind. Like a, a, she's written this ridiculous program to disrupt Arsenal gear. And she's only like... She's supposed to be a teenager, I think. Right. Or in her very early 20s, anyway. Oh, she's doing the snake lines here, then. Yeah. We have to get moving. This place oh, will be oh, oh. Earthquake! I mean, water quick thing. <laughs> water quick? The, the, the big shell's <laughs> shaking. It's quaking. The, <laughs> the big shaking. Oh, God, here we go. Here it starts. Have we got Get a timer up. as well? Nah. Should she be changing her trousers or something? Oh, isn't there a thing where when you're holding her hand, she's got a pulse or something? Can't remember. Oh. I just heard your thing rattle there. Yeah. It was the Uber I I rattle setting. I think I've mentioned before that the, the use rumble really well in these games. Like, like the with... only game that it does. Yeah, they really you use it to good effect. <laughs> you used to love it. Leave me! You know? Your brother told me. No! He's no, I won! That's right. He's here to rescue you. I don't believe Yeah! Me. He would never come for me. And I'm telling you he's here, waiting for us at Shell One. No! He left me, my mother, when we needed him the most. She's very trusting, isn't she, for, for just meeting this guy like everyone else seems to be. She's, she's certainly more sceptical than everyone else has been up to this point. It's not like they haven't got, like, enough time in the schedule to, to put in a bit of character building. Considering the length of Metal Gear Solid cutscenes and everything else. It's not blue. It wants me. It won't let me go. All right. Then close your eyes. I'll guide you. I, I, I was injected with something. <laughs> My legs. Injected with She's a injected poison. with her own legs. What? <laughs> 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 she just went, I, I was injected with something. My legs. <laughs> That's probably a bit of a translation thing, isn't it? <laughs> Sentence structure! Just a little while. <laughs> sure. Of course I'm sure. That's how I got here. Uh, I don't think I can do it. I'm not good at holding my breath. Look, Emma, I have an idea. Hold your breath. <laughs> there you go. That's an idea. Put your ear against my chest and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. Don't think about anything else. When you reach 100, <coughs> open your eyes. By that time, we'll be on the other side. Oh, he's such a charmer. Signal if you think you're running out of breath. Well, what will you do then? I'll swim faster. Why do you swim faster breath. all the time and then she won't have to run out of breath? Basically, that doesn't mean anything. You, you basically, she's got an O2 gauge right. as well. Right. Just, just, just do the same thing. Go up for I haven't looked easy. at the O2 gauges really. I just hear the ding, 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 um, and then run away. Well, obviously, to make things fun, hers is smaller than yours, so you've got to then look at hers. I'm pretty sure hers is smaller than yours, because, you know, 
So hang on, the logic here is that she's she used to be a good swimmer, but then she had a, an incident with water, and now she's scared of water. So yeah. to 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 get over that, she's gonna close her eyes and hold on to some guy who will swim through the water with her on her back, his back. Yes. So she has no control over the situation, and that's somehow preferable to her swimming herself. What's your What's your point? Yeah. Well, oh, we could oh, we could pick holes in it if you want, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get my head around the logic that's going on here. There is no logic yeah. in Metal Gear. I guess the logic is You should is know that by now. It's not about her getting over her fear of the water, it's just literally about getting through the area. Okay, like, it's, she can deal with that later, I guess, is the point. As long as she can get through <clears throat> not dead, then it's a success. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not sure how I'd handle this situation, but... Fortunately, I probably won't have to in the near future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrong way. No, the wrong way! Watch she out for that ice. smacking her head on everything. Yep. Bish, bash, bosh, bosh, bosh. <laughs> yeah, hero 2 gauge is tiny compared to yours. Shit, where the fuck? Head for the blue swadgies. What? I forgot where I'm going. Um. No, wrong bloody button! Urgh. Yeah, that's gonna help her get over a fear of water, crashing a mine. Shit, or mine. <laughs> Is what it this way? There we are. Yeah, it's that way. <laughs> well, Fucking... fortunately, the next one, when you go back, is much longer. I like this music as well. Dun, dun, dun. Almost that loud, out, that was uh, out of time. Because I'm two seconds behind, aren't I, what the game is actually doing? Yeah, roughly. No, oh, well, fuck it. <laughs> just having a sit. He's just having a sit. He must be knackered. He's just to swim with a woman on his back. Through yeah. mines. Into and mines. Literally through the mines, yeah. But that's no excuse, he's a superhuman dude. Yeah. He's a whiny bastard for a superhuman. It reminded me of when I was a kid. Is that what it was like when you were a kid? You used to jump on someone's back and mm. go into mines? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry. Oh, this amazes me. I oh, here we go. She had the legs in these games. I was sleeping with my ear against his back. I could hear his heartbeat. Oh. Sounds like you were close. We were stepchildren in our parents' second marriages. Honestly, it's it's like um, I've said it before. I think it's like watching a block Hollywood blockbuster film that's an action film, and them throwing in a romance just to appeal to a wider audience. You know, I don't need to know a backstory like this in this amount of detail. This is kind of copying out, actually putting actual story into the game, isn't it? By just putting cutscenes with shitty, yeah. kind of anime, overly, yeah, yeah. I do quite like Yoji Shikawa's uh, sort of wavy, sort of painting style, but uh, yeah, it's it's a bit of a cop out and technique. I don't mind so much, I think. If I was playing on my own, it's not the same. I don't get as frustrated, maybe. Mm. When you're with other people, it's like... You have to provide a little bit of entertainment, at least, don't you? And it's like the amount of the amount of time that we're spending watching cutscenes and listening to codec calls. It's not really conducive, yeah. is that the right word? Conducive to other people watching it and having fun. Although you could so argue that, that, that the people that are watching it, if they haven't seen the game before, then they can kind of just enjoy the cheeses of the cutscenes for their own sake, I guess. Leave that up to them to say, to anyone that's watching it, I don't know, say what you think about all that, maybe. Until you help her back up, and be careful. You won't be able to use any weapons while you're leading her. Now head Yay, the bestest. We're on our way. Strottle. <sighs> <laughs> Raiden, we've infiltrated right in a room. What's your situation? Emma's safe. We're heading your way. <sighs> Good job. <laughs> Shell One's deserted. Looks like everybody's aboard Arsenal. I had a look at the system, but there's nothing I can do. EE's our only hope. Right. 
I'll put Close. her on then. Huh? E, e? Well, uh, how? I'll use my Kodak as a relay. Uh, of course. <clears throat> Here she is. Uh, how? Uh, e, e, is that you? How? E, e is the worst possible um, shot in the movie. It's really yeah. hard to say. Huh? Just fucking M. Yeah. Family's dark history and still got involved. Hey, this M. Is that, with you. That's probably another sort of maybe a Japanese M. translation M. thing. I, I can't mistake. imagine how it would be. I wanted to hurt you. I wanted to see you suffer. Oh, e? fuck me. You abandoned me. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. <laughs> right. That's enough. Oops. Cheers, Snake. Cheers, Cheers dude. You said what we're all thinking. See, that's yeah, why Snake's the worst. Why is she calling game. him Otacon? Because that's how everyone calls him. Come on. Get her over here right now. Get over here. I... Sorry. Gotcha, Snake. I'll head over there with Emma. Most of the enemies aboard Arsenal, but I suggest you be careful. Make sure Emma gets here in one piece. Riding yeah. Uh, one piece. Don't worry. I'll get her there. Oh no, I'm going to stab her. I'm going to stab her right up. Yeah, do you know what it is? Because <laughs> when you get out of the water... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't yeah. mean to do that then. I just, just punched, punched her. her. Just punch her in the ovaries. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say you can't just drag her. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually one of the best. Seriously, how do you? Go. How do um, you? What do you uh, press? I wasn't listening to him. I think I think you have to move. You, if you move slowly, no, don't press anything. <laughs> just move. Go up to her. <laughs> Go up to her and she's just assaulting her. Why am I vibrating now? I don't know because your phone's ringing. Yeah, is it your in-game phone ringing? I think you have to. An in-game phone. Her. When did he get an iPhone? He's got did a codec. The get, did the ninja give it to you? Um. You've got a phone in your inventory somewhere. There you go. Phone. Oh, fancy. Yeah. Ooh. Clean mines. Let's get your old thermal goggles out. Uh, I believe when you're with Emma, I, I can't remember. Did they tell you what to do? We just talked over it. A, you yeah. have to basically walk with her and, and lead her. And maybe it's um, maybe it's triangle. That would make sense, wouldn't it? That's like the action button. I know it's not involved in punching anybody. So. But I believe you have to sort of do the. You can't. You can walk with it. You can't run. Yeah. So I always found it easy just to fucking put her to sleep and just drag her. Personally. You can her. You can oh, you have to her. hold down triangle, I think. Yeah, exactly. There we go. It's yeah. not holding down square. That is faster than dragging her, but there are bits where she won't go because there's insects, and it's like just drag her or drattle or throttle her, like one of the two, because fuck her. You can't. You can use the coolant spray on the insects and scare them away, but it takes ages, and it's like just drag her through, and then she'll be like, eh, eh, eh. "You know, shut up, mate." Basically. Snake and Hal are waiting for us in Shell One's computer room. <sighs> I got this disc that the president gave me. This do you know what be a nice role? Do you know what be a nice role reversal? Is if in a game when you played as an adult woman who had to escort a boy, just for like a change, because it always seems to be a girl that you escort. It's always a younger girl who's like smaller than you, more delicate and more frail. I think the, probably I think. Just, it, the, the thing is, I suppose if you play that card, you, you're going for the max, the, the largest possible audience of people who would feel protective towards that if it was a young girl. Yeah, it, I guess so. It just, it just it's just that like we're it, heartless it, bastards and we don't care. Sam, that's what it is. Maybe. It could, I just think it would be interesting just to not do the same thing. Every like person that you have to look after it has to be a young girl, and I just don't... You know what I mean? It's not like a 10-year-old boy's a badass who's going to fight off all the monsters either. It's still, still vulnerable. I guess so, yeah. I created it. I can't actually think of any games where you have to escort a boy. No, I can't either. Well, nearly every single fetch quest on the planet has men in it that you have to rescue like um, Dead Island I was playing the other day and you have to escort people and male and female oh. old and young and zombies yeah that's fair and also what's that other game where you're in the mall the um, Capcom one uh, Dead Rising yeah, Dead Rising yeah that's got male and female escorts in it hasn't it escort missions are you reading me Emma yes loud and clear the president said that arsenal gear was the patriot's key to supremacy 
That's as good a description as any. What exactly is it? I do wonder how long the game would be without any of the cutscenes. Not that long. A data processing system? Right. Just see about probably fifty percent of the game. It's more in some of the games. This is this is quite verbose to be fair. It's, it's more than I remember. The the balance is actually skewed a lot more towards gameplay than cutscenes in Metal Gear Solid Three. Like the, the the game's a lot bigger. I'd say Metal Gear Solid Three is the biggest, most gameplay focused one. I'm not I remember to three. I remember four having a lot of um, a lot of cutscenes, a lot of long cutscenes. But I also remember playing it a lot. Yes, yes. I think it is. Well, yeah, four's a bit open as well, but it's you can get through it quickly. But if you want to explore and go around, there's a lot to do in it as well. Like the levels are all quite big and open. Like that first level is very big, but you can just cut a straight path through it, mm. or you can go around and explore it. So yeah, it's kind of. I guess Story Three is a bit like that as well. Although I would say the mandatory sneaking sections just take longer. Like they just the, the areas just are bigger. And there's more in them. <coughs> anyway. <coughs> I'm just going to take a little two-minute break. Sorry, guys. It's all right. She is just talking about the, the, the stuff. <laughs> What's interesting about this this game and what it predicts is kind of the, the world that we're living in now, almost, in that there's like a really a, an endless torrent of information being shot out onto the internet by everybody all the time. And there is no, there's not really a filter for it. You know, there's, there's everybody's able to put their two pence worth up online in one way or another. The alphabet, 26 letters, and right? there's, obviously, obviously, like there are ways to get the more relevant information. Usually, Impossible. users sort of define what becomes more popular or relevant, but it's not always the case. The same way that, like, I bet the bit, I bet the person with the most Twitter followers is also the most useless and vacuous. You know what I mean? The same way that the most popular YouTube channel is, I think, PewDiePie. Pie. He's not exactly what you call highbrow entertainment. No. So it kind of like. It's an interesting point that this game's making about how information is going to be. Research um, organizations. Of course. What's the word? I don't know. Like looked after on the internet as the internet becomes more of a global. Well, look at what look what happens these days. I mean, already they're starting to they crack down on various things on the internet. They're starting to put people in jail for trolling. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it's becoming. I mean, look at China. You know that their internet is heavily restricted and heavily monitored as well. And if you if the someone dares go through a proxy, it's a jailable offence. You know, if they want to be anonymous on the internet. Uh, yeah. Next year in England, we are going to be receiving letters if we download things via torrents, whether it's legal or illegal. We'll start receiving letters saying that we know you download things via torrents. That's it. They're not going to. They can't threaten us, they can't do anything, but at least they're going to start sending the letters. Just a bit odd. But that's just a start, you know, a couple of years' time, they'll have another law that goes through, another, you know, it's... We're, we're quite, um... The, ofi the official channels are quite far behind on the technology front, but the, the age of technology is moving very, very quickly. You know, we're getting better hardware, we're getting better internet connections, we're getting better software and all kinds of stuff. Um, everyone's got a tablet or a phone these days. Everyone's connected, aren't they? So it's yeah. going to have they're going to have to do something about it. And it'll go. It'll get stupid. The political correctness will get daft, like it does on tel. You know, it has on television. It's already starting to happen in America, isn't it? With the uh, the FCC doing that. Um, uh, was it the fast lane system they were going to introduce? Uh, yes, to an extent. That's the what's it called? Um, yeah, they're going to control net the neutrality. With that, yeah, sites are allowed to have. So, i.e., the amount of traffic that they can process at any one time. They're saying that they're not going to be using it in a uh, in a negative way, but yeah, they're bound to say that, aren't they? It, it will get used. It's putting it's putting control into the power of the corporations again, though. They unfortunately because they, it's giving. It's giving companies, uh, the cable providers, it's giving them a lot more power. Um, I mean, I don't know everything yeah. about it, but... The only thing that's going to stop that is if that move to uh, to get like, in their access turns into a utility goes forward. They're still bloody common. But they don't want that. The, the cable providers don't want that because they'll have no, a lot the more regulation. Don't. Yeah, uh, but it's something that, like, 
Parliament's it's, starting it's to move towards because the then it allows them a lot more control over what can happen to it. There's constantly things, I mean, things that we don't hear about. There's constantly, um, in the mainstream anyway, um, legislation going through the UK government about technology. There's constantly little advances and little improvements and things that they're getting signed off, you know, and... It's it's going to be frightening the rate at which it happens actually. Yeah, and it's it's going to, it's going to affect us as consumers considerably, you know. I don't care if you do everything legitimately on the internet. It's still getting to a point where they're, they're gathering your information. They they know exactly what you look at. They know what you know. They've they've got access to information that they shouldn't legally have access to because of particular you know legislation that's went through. Yeah, and it's 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 going to get worse and worse and worse. And the the heyday of when we had complete unrestricted access to everything and anything on the internet without any kind of comeback, um, well, it said legal or illegal or whatever. It's it's coming to an end. Yeah, I yeah. mean, there's the dark internet, isn't there? That's the dark know. net, yes. But the that's that's net. you know what the dark net is. You know what it's defined as specifically. It's defined as any Facebook is dark net because it's behind a logon. That is essentially what that is. I want to vote one way you've got to, uh, what was it, that browser Tor. You can only browse it if you're using it. Yeah, that's, it's the same kind of thing, though. It's, it's, the, the, yeah, I was looking up Tor a while back, so I hadn't heard of it. people who wear tinfoil on the heads. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not really that. The dark net is specifically defined, if you look it up, it's specifically defined as anything that's behind a logon, anything that you can't see via search engines and you can't see via um oh oh we're playing the game again oh, that was a pretty hey. in-depth conversation we had there wasn't it <laughs> yeah I mean, that, I, what we got onto that lou was that um it's because this game one of the things that the patriots had, had tried to do is to is to sort of control the flow of information across the world like how how the internet is used and how god I... what, what what information is allowed to be put out there basically you know, the whole story of my game is very heavily influenced by this, a lot more than I remember. Yeah. I've... Uh, I, 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 go on, sorry. I was going to say, for all of the sort of really cheesy dialogue in this game, everything like that, that this one thing about this game in particular was... was I thought it was clever at the time, and it, it, it sort of fits in with how, what the world that we're living in now. A lot of what this game is talking about, and it comes more into play at the end when you have the massive long codec calls at the end of the game. Anyway, that's how we got onto that subject. So, what are you going to say, Chris? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to concentrate on getting to a bubble. Give me a second. Ah! Nearly. Yes. <sighs> ah! I forgot what I was talking about. What was I talking about? You were saying how much this game has influenced your game, I think. Yeah, yes, I, well, I didn't specifically want to keep talking about that, but I will do, since you mentioned <laughs> it. Um, yeah, I mean, no, I've, I started writing a conspiracy theory type story. I, know, I knew that the conspiracy theory thing was going to be kind of influenced by Metal Gear, but I didn't realise how much it is, because a lot of the thing in my, a lot of the story in my game is about how information is power and how it's, it's, it's become a, a commodity and it's become, it's at the point where it's all centrally managed, if you know what I mean, and it's it's really heavily restricted. Um, but yeah, I know it's not directly influenced, I should say. It's not a direct copy, let's say. Yeah. But this is the thing about when you, when you sort of make something of your own, no matter what it is, be it music that you write or stories that you write or anything like that, you're always going to, you're going to put the influence of the things that you've absorbed in there, you can't not do it. Here we go, she won't go through those insects, bud. <laughs> you, don't have to just punch, you don't have to punch her out. I mean, <laughs> oh, shoot her in the face instead, eh? With a tranquilizer, come on. Right in the ass. You can just drag her, um, you know, just just throttle drag her. <laughs> just bring a lot of while you're doing it. It'll be like, um, sorry, we'll drag her head through all the books. Yeah. Look at how about we've got older her as well. What are you doing to my sister? Oh, I can't bring right, Otacon. Oh, you can't. Maybe you can bring Snake and Otacon by answer and have a go. Or maybe nothing will happen. Ryden, take Emma and go to Strong Ah, no, Hell. nothing. There's a ladder. I've got... If you've got Emma's number as well. It doesn't not that it matters if you have, but I'm sure if you try and ring her, she's like asleep. No. No, I think she does give it to you, but whatever, it doesn't matter. So yeah, just uh, drag her over into the lift. Oh, the ring, the ring, phone's ringing again. 
probably telling you about the bugs. You can use the coolant spray on the bugs. I think. Oh. So I just dropped her in the middle of the bugs. You don't like bugs? Here you go. Face first. Yeah. Are we, we going up, in the lift? We'll... Yeah, you are. When you wake up, they'll be all in your hair and everything. Nice. They're actually kind of moving away from her. Yeah, they do do that. I mean, she won't go through them, but they do move away from you as you go forward. Although there's quite a few squashed ones on the floor, so... They didn't all get away, did they? Now then, the next area when you come back up is where you adapt Nikita a bit with the president. There's guards in this area this time, so... Your best bet is probably to leave them in the lift, go and take them out, and then take her through this area. She'll probably wake up by then anyway. And you can just walk her through once all the guards are unconscious. She's already awake. Ah, there you go. You can leave her there, though. She'll just wait for you. That's the wrong way. Shit off. Freeze! Forgot about that, actually. Doesn't matter, just take them out. You don't need to be getting a dog tags. No! Will he look at you? Huh? Oh, wicky thump! He's not going to turn around, is he? Maybe if you do a cartwheel down the steps. Oh no, he's gone. Okay. It's quite good, this music, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. It's really there's a lot of really nice, like stylish, sneaky music in this game. It's really just like cool and groovy. We've probably been talking over most of it, but there's some really cool tracks in this. Just atmospheric, you know? Mm. With a smooth Don't jazz. Don't forget to look at a jazz lounge. Uh, lounge, sorry. Yeah, there's, um, it sounds, is it a clarinet? Uh, possibly, yeah. I think it yeah, is a clarinet. It, it features, yeah, it will be, yeah, it's a reading something, yeah, it will be. Yeah, it features quite a lot in this game. It's not, it's not a saxophone, I think it's a clarinet. I think that might be it. Yeah. Uh, do you know what I think happens when you with Emma? By the time you get to this front door, this door to your right. Um, by the time you get there with Emma, a guard comes through, so just be aware of that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's triggered by Emma being there. You can't just obviously do it by yourself. Come on then, let's walk very slowly. Is she injured or something? Or is she just You just stupid? kicked the shit out of her, her head, didn't she? Got, she, got in, she was like this before I kicked her in the face. Do you remember she got her legs injected with legs? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the guide. I think that guy's just come through that door to your left. That, that, uh... Freeze! Ah! <laughs> oh, how did he get there? Whatever. The door's all that. the door's all fizzly cracking, so you can't. Shake you, baby. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he had a really Russian accent for a Chinese man. He did. No. <laughs> Maybe they did it. Did they do a contest to be a, a, as a dog tag type of thing or something? That'd be cool. Maybe. Yeah. I'm trying to think where the names come from because they're not all developers because the names, a lot of the names sound like they're from all kinds of parts of the world, whereas most of the developers in this game are Japanese. Mm. It actually, I think it'd be quite strange for Chinese developers to be working on Japanese games, actually. Mm. How did he not notice that guy? On the and board, I was just thinking I? that. Maybe he did, maybe he just used him. He just thought, well, I'll let him have a nap. He was turning away there so he didn't have to look at his own shame. It's like, Arsenal gears, you know, really ready to go, it's fine. Let him have a nap. <laughs> you haven't done this in a while. Yeah! Chris! What? 
Erasmus or Metos, the yeah. Greek legend, just got shot in the bell end. <laughs> the fuck? There's another guy up there. Bell endos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it must be just like loads more guys come out as you start taking Emma through. Oh, I've oh, shot, his... shot his radio. Mint. <laughs> I haven't done that yet, but yeah, if you shoot their radio, they can't radio in the alert. Which is pretty cool. Uh, 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 uh. That won't be enough. <laughs> Neither guy's waking up just to be a cum. Get to sleep. Fucking normal, thank God. Oh no! I'm no! The guy. Uh oh, ever, ever. <sighs> Can I do it? Can I do it? Get your butter out, Marod. No! No! Get up! <laughs> Missed everybody, just shot everything at a wall then. <laughs> you just emptied a clip into a wall to scare him. That's mint, that, uh. Shield shattered animation was pretty cool. Yeah, take that. Oh, this is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta be edged to wake up quite quickly. Now oh, here we go. Why are they shooting her? Because she's not meant to be there. They will kill her eventually. She's hard as nails though, she took a few bullets there. Yep. Surprised that one of those guys didn't kick you then. Oh, there, there we you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like the sword coming or something. Fuck. It's going wrong. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it, Chris. Crikey. Is this going to be an endless conveyor of buddies? Nice! Um, I think it might ah! be. Yeah. I can, I can spot Death 51 approaching here. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It's on, on its way to the station, isn't it? Yeah. What the oh, hell? Shit, I just shot Emma in the face. Grenade bunch of time. Oh, she's cowering, so she's she's not dead yet, despite the fact that she's just absorbed when, a grenade. When, when she, if she dies here, it'll be game over. That will be a game over if she dies. Just, just grenaded him. This is butchery. This is not going to work, is it, mate? Oh, fucking hell. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah. Hey, I, I could have give it a good go though. Yeah. yeah. Give it a good go at trying to blow up the entire facility. What 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 would you suggest I had done then? Um I don't know. Not the old get expert. So so <laughs> it's basically what we've learned from this is is that if you get spotted in this room, it's pretty much a game over. Because Emma's too slow for you to get her out and the guards just keep coming. Oh, that's a bit harsh. Shouldn't have been stretching the lazy twat. <laughs> yeah, you deserve to get shot in the head for that. With his brains blown out. <laughs> I'll never yawn near you again. <laughs> <laughs> that one, I've got a saw comb in my hand at least. I'll be, I'll be around your house and I'll just be like, uh, break my neck. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you in my presence. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I 
dread to think what your body count's going to be at the end of this game, mate. You've killed so many fucking people. Does it uh, count I've... though? If you if, if you kill a load of guys and then die, does that count as your kill score? Because I'm not sure if yeah. it does. I think it. No, it do. doesn't. No, it doesn't. Because everything no. else is reset. Yeah, it's yeah, reset. It doesn't count once at all, surely. Um, I'm not so sure, you know. I, I mean, would have thought that it would be reset when you die. In any case, you've killed a lot of dudes in this playthrough so far. Yeah, countries are running out of bad guys, aren't they? Yeah, there's I'm basically there's, from, there's like no Russian rubbish military rubbish. left. Yeah, they have to get them from really rubbish countries like Belgium. <laughs> Sorry to any uh, Belgians who've been watching. <laughs> there. Don't send Hercule Power after me. <laughs> Oh, the famous Belgian I can think of, and he's not even real. Shit! <laughs> Don't Claude Van Damme. Don't send him after me. Oh. Send Oops. a replacement guard for the area. FedEx, the guard over. Oh, shit. Someone spotted Emma. Should you not be trying to hide or get Emma away? I can't do anything if I get seen. Jesus. Yeah, I don't. Uh... I think if you can, I don't know. It's, I don't know what to suggest when you get into a situation. To be hide. Yeah, I can't. Hard. It's, it's hard to get Emma to hide because she's so bloody slow. Oh my god. Ooh. Where, Where is, is that anywhere? She wandered off. Oh, yeah, she's Yeah, I was going to say, because it wasn't you that got spotted, wasn't it? It was Emma. Uh, I don't think so, it was me. Oh no, you might be right there. No, the first time, you were down the stairs and the guard couldn't see you, but you got an alert anyway, and I think it was that guy spotted Emma. Hide, hide, hide. I can't! You can now do evasion. I can't! They'll be here before I... Yeah. Yeah, she's moving. You could maybe get in that little room with the cameras. I can't really think of anywhere else you can go. Then the cameras will start shooting at you, so you have to take them out as well. You put a claim on the stairs? Yeah, that'll take out one of them. Yeah, they'll take out one guard, yeah. It will. They'll just keep... They'll just keep you stun them? Ah! No, that, I don't think that works when you're in alert. I know it won't. I'm taking a piss. I <laughs> fucking no idea what I'm doing. I like to think you know, Paul. Like what? Ooh. I think I shot her then. Well, she ended up dead anyway. Right. E -E. I guess you need to leave her in um in small rooms, don't you, instead of main corridors. <clears throat> the problem is, is that he did he did go through this whole area, but it's the guards that come into the area trigger as you take her through it. So right. you have to take her through, and as you do, more guards get in your way. That's the challenge, like. So he's kind of doing it right, but it's just getting the, getting all the guards as you approach them out of your way. Cold-blooded. Any more, um, ask me anything to read out today? From David Hayder! Well, it's... Quite a lot of them aren't related to Metal Gear. What are they related to? Isn't this what he's... <laughs> he does, he's a director and an actor as well, you know. Watchman. Yeah, and a writer. Watchman? Yeah. 
Yeah. Was he uh, was he involved in the film? Was he? Uh, I'm assuming so. Maybe he was a producer on it. I'm sure he's a producer and a, had a writer as well. He's he was in Shiva Two as well, apparently. Oh. I shouldn't have done that. I heard that. that he was. Uh, I heard that he was directed a film starring Jason Momoa, the you know, other guy from uh, Game of Thrones. And yeah, that awful it's uh, Carl Drogo. Yeah. Let's say that he's a, he, wrote, he helped write X Men Two and X Men and Watchmen. Yeah. So he wrote the script for Watchmen, obviously the the adaptation. Of it. Yeah. Which I, do you know what I thought that film was like, pretty good. I, if you're I gonna try, I kind of enjoyed it, but it was. Uh, I've heard from people who've read the the, the novel that it's nowhere yeah, it's near not, as good. Of course, it's not. It's not. It's uh, Watchmen for me is one of the best like graphic novels I've ever read. read it? Yeah, oh. I've read it. I've read it like three times. I love it, but. Um, I, <laughs> As a go, about as having a go at doing that material, it was an all right stab at it. Um, mm. They never managed to get Alan Moore right on the big screen because the way that his stuff is written isn't meant to be on the big screen. That like you have to adapt it, but that's the same with any book, really. I guess in a lot of ways. Nice. Yeah, I kind of enjoyed the movie. It was a, it was an interesting concept. I liked the idea of flawed. Uh, superheroes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's the depth of it and how they go into it is better in the book. Obviously, mm. it's more detailed. Um, and the film was pretty long. The film was the best part. Of three, three hours, yeah. But you got to remember, this is like well, it's a graphic novel. It really is a graphic novel. And it's it's a it's a quite a big undertaking to read it. You can't just bash through it in an afternoon, really. Even if you are a fast reader. Um, yes. Yeah, so Mean, so it means Steve were out yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, um, um, yeah. Steve got it from uh, Waterstones. Ah, uh, but what? Well, have you seen the film? Yeah. So you know the basic points of the plot. There's a few bits yeah. that are different, and it's a lot. It's a lot richer and a lot more detailed. So you're in for oh. a treat, to be honest. Well, there's been quite a few people, um, not people I know, there's people on Reddit where you come up with these, you know, like 100 books to read before you die, and a lot of people have recommended Watchmen. Mm. So I just start, start to give it a go. And I'm about three it's chapters in now, and it's uh, it's definitely got my attention. It's one of the few um, that and um, what's the other Alan Moore one? Beef of Vendetta. Vendetta yeah, Th I love those Beef two. Vendetta. I've read I've read both of those. I'm not a big graphic novel guy, but I I did thoroughly enjoy them. I didn't I, know you yeah. could read. <laughs> Uh, I, love, I, love, <laughs> I love the out of the movie. I, I thought that was brilliant. I haven't read the, the graphic novel, but I, it, it was a, it's, a, it's a movie that gets better every time you watch it. Uh, again, that's a similar thing I have with Watchmen, where the, that how that film was done, it was a good go at an adaptation. It still pales in comparison to the to the graphic novel for me, because they, they sort of actioned it up a little bit. Like, they made it a lot more action-y with the business stuff, but then it kind of makes sense that they did that for a film version. Mm -hmm. Um, Apparently, Rorschach's a really good character in the um, in the, the novel. He, he is pretty much that. Well, he's he's the sort of he's closest to the sort of analog of, analog of Batman in a lot of ways, with the sort of gruff, you know, talks to himself kind of thing about what he's doing. <laughs> but he's a lot more. He's even more sort of damaged than Batman. And I can't remember how much detail they go into the film of his past and stuff like that. And not much, uh, to be honest. Um, there's obviously stuff to do with his past and why he wears that mask that he wears and all this other stuff. Yeah, it's, it's good, man. It's really quite deep. Uh, the Chris has learned his lesson or this talk about graphic novels has got him on his form. Yeah. Well, this I'm, I'm cool. breaking my own rules. I'm killing people. I wasn't going to... I was going to try not to kill people as much as possible, but... <laughs> You've already killed so many up to this point. What's a few more? Chris, currently you're on, about to go on trial for genocide, so I don't think yeah. you need to worry. What's a few more thousand people? Yeah. There's a, there's a really funny Eddie Izzard bit when he's saying, like, you, know, you kill one person, they send you to prison, you kill, like, five people, they kill you, you kill 20 people, they put you in a room and stare at you. If you kill, like, 20,000 people, you're almost sort of going, well done, well done. <laughs> you, must, you must get up very early in the morning. <laughs> You know, I could never get around to killing that many people. <laughs> there's a number, there's a level, isn't there, where killing somebody like goes from just being a, a personal murder to being 
mass genocide and it always becomes like you can't, you can't wrap, wrap, wrap your head around it like it's where am i going right or up yeah you're going to the to the right to the east You're heading back to uh, Shell <coughs> One Core, which is that room with the parrot in it, if you remember. Sometimes I just forget that I'm playing a stealth game. <laughs> oh, noticed. <shit. laughs> <laughs> ah, there's probably flying jobbies out here. Uavs, I think you'll find. That's what they're called. Flying shit. Yeah. Flying robot dudes. Speaking of robot dudes, has anyone seen the trailer for um, Chappie, the new Neil Blomkamp film? No, but I, I, I only found out recently that it was a Neil Blomkamp movie, so... Check out the trailer for it, it looks pretty cool. It's, um, it's what's his name, playing robot, isn't it, again? Um, Charles O'Copley. Charles O'Copley, yeah. Um, he's, he's doing the voice, I'm not sure if he's done mocap, but from what I've seen in the trailer, it looks like somebody must have mocap the robot, and I would mm. guess it was him. Because Makes why sense. wouldn't why wouldn't you? <coughs> yeah, you, you would, wouldn't you? It's quite oh, cool. It's got like, he's got like he's got like antennas on his head that are like dog ears, and in the trailer, they, he reacts like a dog. You know, when a dog puts its ears up or back, depending on how it's feeling. He, he does that as well, which I think is a really good way of showing emotion on a emotionless face. Mm. It, it looks cool anyway. <laughs> this will be horribly dated by the time it comes out. That we, I talked about this on here, but whatever. Yeah, I'll, I'll catch the uh, trailer for that. What did they inject into her legs, or did they not ever... Legs? Legs? S slow walking serum. <laughs> yeah. Some sort of sedative. They did explain it, that they didn't, they didn't want her to get away, as if she would on oh, her own shit. anyway. Fuck, I meant to oh, well. trank him then. Dick. It's, just, it's just becoming a murder zone now, isn't it, this game? <laughs> He's just falling down the stairs. Oh, that's a bit grim. So if the bullet wasn't enough, he's now got a broken neck to add to his troubles. <laughs> He'll be shaken down as well. What an undignified way to die. <laughs> Are we going up or down? Uh, you're going, yeah, you're going down. It'll be on fire, but you can put it out with the coolant south. Essentially, south. all I all I need from you is directions. Oh shit! Fire hot! <laughs> it just suddenly went. <laughs> when yeah, I got close to it. The, uh, the old coolant spray on it. That'll put it out. That's working. Um, yeah, yeah, you have to get quite close to it. They're ringing at some really inopportune times, aren't they? Yeah, that was the person on the phone just saying, use the coolant spray. So... Why aren't they codecking me, like everyone else? Uh, the, the phone was giving you to given to you by the ninja. You know the, the cyborg Obviously. ninja who, who who can also call you on codec, but I guess it's to save having a codec call. Even that's too much because you have to have dialogue. <laughs> so just give it a text like Damn use the call and spray. What's wrong? Was this when phones were getting big? Or is security level five. Yeah. Or was it? Or was it? When, when phones were just getting popular. Giving up already? Oh, shut up, you cocky cow. You've just been like. Ah, they they ah, just injected ah, her legs with a load of lead, and they, but they still let her keep a card that gives her access to all the areas. I like how it's given up already. It's like, mate, you wouldn't even go swimming a bit ago till I made you. So it was, <laughs> it, it was, it was giving up already. Like, you gave up before we even got started, pal. I would have shot, I would have shot her off the shell, I'll be honest with you. I'd have kicked her off. I'd have dropped, kicked her into the Atlantic. <laughs> Now that would have been funny. <laughs> oh. Probably. Where'd he go? Yeah, I've forgotten this bit, I think. <clears throat> yeah, because it's like a shortcut back to Shell 1. Because um, obviously you can't take Emma of all the destroyed bits that you were climbing over before. I've got a feeling there's two guards in this area, and no node as far as I'm aware. He sort of turned one way, then turned back instantly. Fucking That's wrong combination of up. wrong combination of keys and buttons and. 
That is weird, that turn he's doing. Why isn't the uh, radar working? Because uh, in this game, you have to like find the node in each area to establish your radar. Um, so every time you go into a new area, you have no radar to start off with till you find the computer terminal. And then it establishes it. Is it just him there? Uh, maybe it's just one guy. I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I just... Oh, no, there is two. There's one. Yeah, there we go. See his little cheeky hand peeking out there. Is he a smelly one, is he? Must be a bit. There's a lot of flies around that light. They need one of them blue bug zapper lights that they need. Look at that stealth elbow. Yeah, that's a weird angle, that the camera's on there. Even for this game, it's weird. What the fuck is he doing? Is he actually turning round ever? No. Just staring at the wall. I know he is. He's got the laziest path. Your patrol is yeah, one like foot. Two, <laughs> two paces this way and two paces back the other way. Don't care about his mate at all, does he? Um, if you've got any empty magazines, you could try throwing a magazine over to where his mate is so that he goes you, over there. And use you your can... book. I was just going to throw that. Oh, well. All the book. It's in your weapons, weapons, mate. I haven't even played this game, Chris, and I know that. <laughs> book! <laughs> Adult literature. <laughs> For God's sake! Oh, dear. Oh, uh, there they come, through that door, obviously. Can lose ready with a text file. Maybe lob a stun grenade and then just throttle ever through. Or just go back through the door and then come back through. Don't know where she's yeah. gone. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work out, because she's in the other room now. Possibly being shot to death by bad guys. Just get a weird game over screen from out here. I suspect that nothing happens when you move out the room. Uh, I genuinely don't remember. You should just hide. All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Shotgun man. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Yes. Over there, that means there's somebody in the... Oh, I don't know. Oh. Quick, Can't crash, believe crash, that crash. happened. Whatever works. Whatever works. Yeeha! Bloody hell. I think this is the uh, sniper section of the game. The next, or oh, the second sniper section of the game. Do you remember this bit, which is walking across the old fence, and you've got to like look out for her. I remember the end of this game. I think. I think that is that is what I remember. And even that's sketchy. You blocked out the rest. The control system is awesome in comparison. It really is. It's really. Uh, You're making apart it from... look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few you're issues with it. Everywhere. You're just, just running alone like this shooting people. <laughs> well, the camera makes it difficult in terms of like what we're used to from third-person games nowadays. I yeah. need you to come to my house and have a go of it, Lou, on camera. I don't need to come to your house to have a go of it. <laughs> on camera. I know, I know what you say. I, look, this is why I don't want to play it, because the camera angles look awful in it. I think you can do it. I don't remember the but then I might have a problem with them now. When I played it first, it wasn't an issue because this was just how it was presented. If I was to come back and play through this game or any of them, I don't know, I don't know if I'd struggle with it, but it'd just be like putting on an old pair of shoes that's just comfy, like, I don't know. 
I think I'm I kind of spoiled, spoiled by the mouse and keyboard combo, which is so accurate compared to the pad. I had yeah. I had a pro I had a, the same problems with GTA though. <clears throat> when I played Grand Theft Auto on the PS3, I get the all the controls wrong constantly. Where I'm on the Xbox, I rarely do that. I, I, for some reason, all the Xbox con um, games or control systems controls. on the games are easier. I, but I don't know. Something about this pad scares the crap out of me. I think I don't understand <laughs> shapes. <clears throat> So I can't I read, like I don't understand shapes, <laughs> and something else. It's beautiful. To be fair, it is actually quite nice because you get the sort of the glint off the water you as you sort of look it out with your sniper scope. It does look pretty nice. Look at it shining. I think all Oil Ocean Zone from um, mm. yeah, Sonic, Sonic 2. 2. I'm trying to remember the music for that. Uh, it was kind of weird, sort of. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sort of Arabic. Gonna be able to yeah. Past all that. Looks like it can barely support one person. How much do you weigh, Emma? Are you gonna ask me how old I am next? If you go alone. If it's relevant oh, to the yeah. mission, yeah. So answer the bloody question, woman. <laughs> do you want to make it to this alive or not? Telling you a drop kick. It's the only way forward. <laughs> you really care. If, uh, about people knowing your age, if you're too young or you're too old for something. Yeah. We'll have to cross the water from here. Can Emma walk? Yeah, she's okay. The pontoon bridge doesn't. Now she is. Sturdy. Emma's gonna have to cross it alone. Oh, she walks in backflips. She sweated the legs out of her system. Ryden, you're carrying a PSG one, are you? Yeah. It's time to play sniper. Not yeah. This, but this spot gives me a good view of the targets. You're going to have to cover Emma until she crosses to strut E. I'll get there and provide some support of my own. Thanks. Think you can handle it? Should just add a few yeah, extra numbers to this I faced file. A similar situation in Let's put a couple of zeros on the end of it. Um, I don't think this bit's that difficult. It's, uh, I guess it's better than nothing. The, the very sure end bit of this is, can be a little bit tricky, but right now, the actual escort escorting every bit is fine as long as you make sure to just keep zooming out and looking for um, UAVs coming in. Because as you shoot them down, more appear, and if you, know, if you keep zoomed in right and ever, you won't see them until they're already attacking it. Okay, I'm heading for Strut E. Emma, are you reading e. me? Loud and clear. I'm gonna clear a path for you from here. How? Sniper That's fire. You're bear. kidding. Trust <laughs> me. What did he say then? I, I, I can't bear. swim. You were doing That's so cute, I can't ago. bear it. Okay. That's weird. You do it. Would you take get no for real. an answer? No. no. Get real. All right, get going. Get real. Fine. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So there are both human dudes to take out of this section and UAVs. You've got a tranquilizer PSG one. I don't know if you want to just shoot with the head with the normal one. I don't know how you're feeling about it now. We'll see. Um, I believe the Pentasmin, it will eventually respawn. Of course they put Claymores on there because why wouldn't you? I mean I would. No. Oh my god. Um, maybe use the normal PSG one for that. Using the tranquilizer one. Uh, that's not the pen. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And obviously, you, you more. Obviously, you're more stable if you crouch or lie down as well. As I'm sure you already know. Yeah, I knew that. So there's guards on the towers and there's also UAVs and claymores and all kinds of fun things. Oh, that didn't last long. Jesus. No, it doesn't last very long. It's video game logic where, like, taking a drug like that lasts, you know, seconds when it should last probably hours. The fuck? What? <laughs> hey! Oh my god! Oh, I died. There we go. 
Do I go across now? No, you, mate. You don't. You don't actually walk across. He goes across in the cutscene at the end of this section. <clears throat> so basically, you, you want to keep your keep your sniper rifle like out, mate. Keep keep looking in. Um, for example, there's more claymores on other other bits to so try and get rid of them whilst nothing's happening. Yes, mom. Well, I could just let ever walk into them and get you another know, game over if you want. And the UAVs. Ah! Yeah, aiming without the pentasmid is nigh on impossible, like, in this game. <laughs> yeah, you stupid seagulls. <laughs> 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 Beautiful. <clears throat> well, you will you will be steadier if you crouch or lie down as well. You said that. I did, yeah. Right, I can't see no. Maybe shit there are any more mines. I'm sure there are more mines on some bit. Um, I did have a quick scan around, but I couldn't see now. All right. If there are any more, then never mind. There's definitely more guards and UAVs. That's certain. Ah! Oh, just as a bloody shot. And like before, when you've taken out the guards oh. that are dead, it doesn't mean that more guards aren't going to walk around the side as well. Looks really sensitive, that Chris. Can you not turn the sensitivity down a bit? Nope. Can't do anything. No. You can't configure anything. Yeah, this is a PS2 You're a, game. Stop mate. being a PC <laughs> user. This looks really twitchy. It's like it you're is. just moving very slightly and you're aiming well away from people. And that's, well, they that's actually, no, you, you can't. It's not analog. Shoot the birds! Aha! Yeah, there we go. I knew there was some more. I knew it! This is Snake. Can you hear me? Yeah. Emma's just been seen, mate. I've reached my yeah. sniping position on strut E. Oh, that's cool. So now, whatever your reticule is, Snake will, will fire at it as well. Just call me when you want me to shoot. So call him straight away. Call him back straight away. <laughs> Be nice if I knew where she was. I think she's still on that first tower bit, is she? Um, I know you're in the middle of something, but go call Snake back straight away because he won't start shooting until you tell him to. What well, if you call him once, he'll then help you for the rest of this section. Damn, I don't think I can do this. Snake, take over for me. I'll take care of it then. I'm going to show you how sniping should be handled. Take a good look. I'll get on with it. My sniping field will be limited to the area you're watching through your PSG One scope. Keep a good lookout on Emma's surroundings, even while I'm shooting. All right. He's going to help you a little bit, which is quite handy. Can't trank that, can I, idiot? <laughs> Robot turns upside down. <laughs> You get extra points for shooting the birds then? No. You don't get no. points, mate. It's not mate, a fucking arcade you, game. I was gonna say, have you seen any points appear in this game yet? If you just if you fucking shoot five in road, you get a one up. <laughs> she needs to be faster than she is. Yeah, she's not gonna be. Can't you just oh, it doesn't matter. What? I was going to say, like, can you just swim by the side of the pontoon, but then obviously no one would be there to shoot all the guards that are coming out. Yeah. Doesn't give a fuck, Snake, does he? He's just shooting him. Snake just shoots him dead, yeah. So if you want a trank only run through, you can't call Snake. I don't, I don't think Snake killing him counts as your kills, though. Well, I made the choice to call him. I would have felt so. Um. I don't know, maybe. I mean, maybe, definitely. Well, I don't know, mate. I don't, that, that, that might not be how the game 
counts up the kills. You don't know for definite. So don't I do. say definite. Yes, I do. You don't. You do not. You don't know that I don't know for definite. Pretty Where's confident about it, though. There she is. Jeffing it up. Taking a sweet time. Oh, more dudes. That's her. Yeah, there's one up the top, though. Hey! That's really painful, that screen. I feel bad for him. I'm awesome. That was uh, very good sniping there. Uh, I think it's pretty much clear, apart from the occasional UAV that might appear now. I don't know if any more guards come out or not. Basically, once she gets in front of the sun, um, a cutscene will trigger, and stuff will happen. Do you um? Is your aim steadier if you lay down? Yes. Yep. Sam did say that. I, I, I said that twice already. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I, I heard both times, advice, by the way. So... I just wasn't ready for doing it. I say you did take my advice, so it, yeah. Thanks for reiterating it. Loose. I've actually done it now. Oh, Chris. How are you for pentazamine, by the way? I've got loads left, I just, don't, I just don't need it at the moment. Good, because you're going to need it shortly. Right, any second now, should... There you go. Guess who's back? Back, back again. again. It's a cyborg ninja. Probably not. No, it's not. It's a... Uh, oh. It's, uh, it's this guy. Fucking Taylor Swift's boyfriend. Yeah. What an asshole. Shoot. Shoot him in his head hole. First you have to have a little... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, basically shoot him, in the... shoot him in the bloody face. <laughs> <laughs> that was a particularly difficult boss fight, that one. I'd remember that being more difficult. Yeah. Well, never mind. <laughs> At least you didn't have loads of inv invincibility frames in the middle of it. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh, she's been shanked. Wet herself from her stomach. <laughs> Wet herself from her stomach. Oh, she's a fallen. Get snake go. Just one, one just one bullet it takes him. He's mint, that's why. I think we break after this section. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a good place to break after this cutscene. Get this bloody. No luck is left in the game after this cutscene. I can't um, hear it all, Steve. Getting... Do you know what? The next section of the game after this cutscene um, is Arsenal gear and then the end of the game, so we're actually really near the end now. Alright. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that, but I really haven't been enjoying this one. I enjoyed the first one, I really liked it. But I've played the first one quite a lot of times, so maybe I've yeah, got more the nostalgia there, I don't know. The story in Metal Gear Solid 3 is more, much more enjoyable, it's more self-contained. It, it's still got a lot of the long-windedness to it, but like it's better than the story I'm, in this one. I'm holding out for 4 and Ground Zeroes, I'll be honest with you. Metal Gear Solid 3 is David Hater's first, uh, his favourite one, sorry. It's yeah, a lot it's, of people's favourite. It's not mine, but... In a lot of ways, it is technically the best. Like, I think you guys, um, Lou and Steve, will probably enjoy that one more as well, just to, just to watch it. Um, it's just a really cool game. Yeah. I still think 4 is better, personally. I think uh, It's only because the camo system really, really spoiled the, the third one for me. Mm. I, I mean... I, I sort of go back and forth, really, on what which one's my favourite. I reckon the newest one, Phantom Pain, is going to override it, although I've got a feeling. 
Uh, from what I've seen of it, it's got. Yeah, it's got a possibility of being it. Now is your disc. You better hurry. Yeah, excuse me. Gonna make it. How's the bleeding? She's just get over here. You'll find the coast is clear with everybody. She's gonna die. Now. Understood. Oh, we're gonna okay, get. Okay, cool. There King. we go. Oh no, we've got 300 seconds left. Yeah. Should we save? Yeah, you might as well, because by the time you get to the next bit, there's really loads of long cut scenes with Otacon crying and stuff. If she so, lets me. Hey Jack. Oh. She might talk after after you've saved it. I like saving new data for some reason at the moment, just so I can see our sessions and kind of where we ended and started and that. Anyway, yes, so thanks everyone for watching. It's part six. Oh, every week. Every week. Look, Snake is different. I'm a killer, on. but something. Right, yes. So, um, thanks everybody for watching. Part six. Thank you. Uh, next week we'll be back with hopefully, fingers crossed, the end of the end of Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, and then we can move on to three, which is the, my, the one I'm looking forward to because you get to blow people up in wheelchairs. I, yes. I like the detail in three. I like the I like the fact that you can feed on a tree frog. Yeah, that theme song is amazing. The theme song is. <laughs> we're gonna, I'm gonna play the title theme song to you. Uh, well, you'll hear it anyway beforehand, but I want to play it on. I want to play it live so you can hear it. It's like it's a it's a great song. Um, is it one of these dodgy Japanese translation songs? It sounds like a feed on a tree frog. Doesn't sound like the. <laughs> doesn't the lyrics. sound like a Western thing, does it? <laughs> yes. Um, yes, it is. Oh, that music was too murdering, so... It's not like something Gilbert and Sul Sullivan wrote, does it? It's basically, it's like a James Bond theme song. Like, it's a really, really strong James Bond theme running through it. Because it's set in the 60s, like, the theme song's like a James Bond song. And it even has a James Bondy intro as well. It's do, do, us a, do us a favour and don't listen to it. Don't spoil it for I yourselves. Let us, let us play it to you next week. Because when I first heard it, I did have a bit of a chuckle. It was, it was very funny. But it's dead really serious at the same lyrics. time. <laughs> I'm Sorry? really bad at... I'm really bad at discerning lyrics and songs. Yeah, you might need to oh, you write it up. You lyrics. don't have to discern them. You just hear one or two of the lines. I don't know what the songs. Well, the songs about the game. It would help. <laughs> it would help if it was subtitles. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's all in I English. Think it will, so. I think it will be subtitled anyway because the game's generally subtitled, isn't it? Most well, the not the intro like? scene though. I don't think it doesn't have like one of them bouncing things. <laughs> 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 the sing along thing. Yeah. The old, the old, the old, the old, uh, the old Commodore sixty four Ghostbusters game had that. It had in the something strange. You did, it, Despite you. the fact that no singing in it. No, but that was it. Had the lyrics and the the yeah, tune in the it's background. Like, almost a kind of we can't put any singing you in this game, so we'll just make you sing it. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Yes, so. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.